Hello and welcome to another video on the Powkitty X18. This something really curious is what the internals are like, so now it's time to do a teardown and see what it's like. So first off we gotta take the bottom shell off. We have six screws total. Two, four, six. So let's get this started. Um, Heck, that screw was stripped, so I had to do some stuff. So now carefully peel this back. You can see we have the battery and the two shoulder ribbon cables. We gotta be careful not to tear those. Obviously, before you do this, make sure it's shut off. So let's just connect the shoulder cables, which are here and here. They simply flip up and pull them out. And now let's disconnect the battery. And there we go. Oops. You can see the two shoulder buttons and the battery. And that's fantastic. Oops, sorry. Shoulder buttons and battery. The, the thermistor cable has been crushed. It has been flattened and I can see copper. That's fantastic. Good job. Good job, manufacturers. This is pretty heavy. And so, onwards. Here we have the bottom of the motherboard. Sorry about that. This is H55, is what the H55 AA version 3. That's what it says there and there. Here we have two speaker assemblies, and there's a rumble motor, and there's your antenna that connects there. Obviously, you got the HDMI, the micro USB, or is it mini micro? No, it's most micro, and the SD, micro SD. So let's start digging and see what we find. So how should we? I'll take the, these the speaker units off to see what's underneath. So let's pop the Bluetooth Wi-Fi cable. And oops, there's a screw in there. Yep. Is there a screw? Let me. Do yes, there is. It's way down in there. I think this is the wrong size bit. Let me find the right one. Be right back. Okay, I got the right size screwdriver, so onwards. Break this loose. And carefully peel up. Oh, the speaker assembly is, is soldered to the board, so you can't remove it. But that screw goes all the way through to the case, so that has to come off. Could they not have used the connector? So they have to come off one way or another. Oh, let's do the other one. Likewise, also soldered. Those cables, if you're not careful, will break. So, let's go onwards. Um, let's pop the ribbon cable for the LCD off. It's got a little tab. Pry up, and voila. Now, let's disconnect the joysticks. Pop that out. And pop that out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws total. That's a lot of screws. These ones look like they're pH zero screws. Yes, they are. 
like so, onwards. Get these screws out of the way. Usually I disassemble my silicone mat, but I did not feel like cleaning it off, so I was lazy. I don't care if I break this device, so I'm just doing it here on a different work table. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll get that one later. So Let's pick up the motherboard and see what's underneath. Carefully, we got, we're got caught on those. Just make sure we don't break anything. Is there a ribbon cable? No, there's no ribbon cable underneath. And I got the other screw out. So, is it, I think it's stuck on the HDMI port. No, I'm stuck on these two pads. How do I do this? I'm stuck on those nubs, but I'm also stuck on the HDMI port. Hmm. Do I just have to brute force it? I don't want to brute force it. How on earth do they do this at the factory? And now the charging port's stuck. Okay, I'm off the post, but now I'm just stuck. And there we go. So, here you can see the plain shell. There's the magnet, it looks like, for the screen. We've got the silicone pads. I think those are the same pads that are used in the Revo K101, possibly. And let's see what's on the other side of the motherboard. Let's be careful with the speakers so we don't break the cables. And there goes a screw. There goes both speaker screws. I'll put this here like this. And there's this side of the motherboard. The H55 motherboard 3.0. There's a connector here. That connector wasn't used for anything. I wonder what that connector's for. Huh. Obviously we have the CPU underneath. This X somewhat like a heat shield. Start select. I wonder if that'd pry up easily. It looks like it's got clips on the sides. I don't want to damage it though. There we go. Let's see the goods. Just plain stamped aluminum, feels like. And there's the, there's the money shot. There's a CPU, two RAM chips, there's the storage. So, we've got this shipped down to the guts. Let's see if we can take the LCD out. I'm curious what, as to what's behind it. Because we have the LED in here. So, if this is a plastic lid, so if we flex it, and try to get my fingernails underneath. 
Let's see how this goes. Wait, it looks like there's a little tab right here. Give me one second. <clears throat> we'll see if there's screws behind it. Carefully. And I'm bending the trim. But yes, there are screws behind it. Three screws in total. Let's put this to the side so we can reuse it. Good thing I didn't try to force it out. That would have been bad. And the other side. Okay, didn't bend that one. Just, uh, pop that out. So we have six screws in total. Let's see what's inside. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. Now, how do we pop you out? If I push. No, it might be, it looks like I was doing the wrong thing. I'm gonna put, slide my fingernail along the edge and brute force it. <laughs> Feels like it's held in place with tabs. There shouldn't be any other screws. No, let me use this. I got a little prior. There we go. Yeah, we got tabs up in here. There's a magnet. I'll have to put that back in later. This thing's held on good. And there we go. There's a money shot. We have, there's a ribbon cable that goes into this sideboard. There's a digitizer, which is connected there. Here's the connector for the LED for the backlight, which is completely pointless. And we have the ribbon cable that stretches over to the LCD itself. And I should actually be on screen, sorry. So that's what it looks like when you tear this down to the very bottom. It's not terribly hard. It does require some tools, but they aren't hard to acquire or expensive to get. So that's all. Now we can see what the guts are like. I'll put this back together later when I have a time. Thank you for watching.
Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.